Vanilla old school escape guys. Hey guys, this is Vanilla here, and today I'm going to talk you through the quest Mornings End Part 1. If you haven't already, please subscribe and also make sure to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. You need to have completed the following quests, all of which I have guides on, so Roving Elves, Regicide, Underground Pass, Biohazard, Plague City, Waterfall Quest, Big Chompy Bird Hunting, and Sheep Herder. So I'll link all of those in the description below. You need to have level 50 thieving, which is boostable, and level 60 range, which is not boostable. You also need to be able to defeat a level 11 enemy with your combat stats set to 20 each. So for this quest, you need to have bear fur, two silk, one of each dye, red, yellow, green, and blue. It's recommended that you actually have two of each dye, just in case you mess it up. You need to have a bucket of water, a feather. During the quest, you'll be able to obtain a rotten apple, which is just west of the Mourner HQ. You need toad crunchies. It's easiest if you just buy pre-made Toad Crunch on the Grand Exchange. Alternatively, you can buy them from the Gnome Waiter in the Grand Tree. You need Magic Logs. Leather, make sure that it's soft leather. You need an Ogre Bellow. So if you lost it, take a look at my Big Chompy Bird Hunting Quest Guide, which I've linked in the description, from 4 minutes 40 onwards, and it takes you over the piece of the quest, where you get the ogre bellows from. You also need to have a barrel of naphtha. So if you didn't make a spare one during regicide, I've got a guide that explains how to make a barrel of naphtha. So I'll put that in the description as well. It's recommended that you have tally tabs. So an Ardoin, Falador. You need a method of getting to Feldip Hills. So I recommend a ring of jeweling. And also a necklace of passage is really helpful for this quest. You need 3,200 gold if you're going to get to the quest start using the boat at Catherby. Also recommended that you have some food and a weapon. So to start with, I'm going from Catherby to get to Camp Tyrus. To do this, you need 3,200 coins. I'd like to charter a ship, Port Tyrus. So we need to start the quest by talking to Elunid. So just run to the east and north. Go through the dense forest. Make sure to click past sticks. And then over here is the quest start point. So talk to Elunid. And keep in mind that you may need to world jump to get her to appear. I'm ready. So this is a magic teleportation crystal to get back to here. Let's skip the back story. So she wants us to infiltrate the mourners. So the quickest thing to do is use your necklace of passage and go to the outpost. Now run west. And south. Attack the level 11 mourner. So it will have reduced your stats considerably. And now pick up everything that he has dropped. 
Now I'll use your ring of dueling and go to clan wars. So now that you're here, you want to go just west of the bank area. And you can enter the free for all portal. Now exit the portal and your stats will be restored. So it's easiest if you just equip everything now that you can. So bank the things that you do not need read the letter so withdraw your bucket of water two pieces of silk and beer fur teleport to falador head north and go through the gates to the west to tavoli now head southwest we want to talk to Tejid. So now search the laundry basket next to him. Steal the soap. Use the soap with the top. So now you can wear the top. Now you can use your teleport crystal to go to Lecce. And we need to talk to Orinwin. So we give her two silk and one beer fur. So now it's easiest if you use your Ardoyan teleport, but I'm going to use my necklace of passage and run back. So make sure you've got the full mourner gear. So a gas mask, mourner gear, mourner letter, a feather, leather, magic logs and toad crunchies. Now that you've got that, get rid of the soap and go to where Star Doin. So we're gonna go to Mourner's HQ. So he do the northeast. Open the door, go through the door, go into the basement, enter the door and talk to Isolt. So now go into the room next door and there's a little wibbly wobbly man. Talk to the gnome on a rack. Tell him that he hates having his feet tickled and loves toad crunchies. And that is the third option. Use the feather with his feet. Talk to him again. Release him. So now he's repaired the device. Use your ring of jeweling to castle wars.
Grab your Ardoyan teleport, your bellows, head to the south. So we're going to run south along the coastline. And then we're going to head west. So you need to use the dye with the bellow to catch a toad in that specific colour. Use your dye with the bellow. Use the bellow with the frog. So grab a few spears. Now use your Ardoin teleport. Run north. Run northwest. Now I'm with the red sheep, so use the red toad with the fixed device. Equip it. So stand your character so you're facing the sheep. Click aim and fire. So use the arrows to aim at your target. the red button to fire and it will dye the whole herd. So now I'm going to head north to the green sheep. So face the green sheep. Equip the green frog. Now we're going to head further north to the yellow sheep. Now we're going to head west to the blue sheep. So now return to Esalt and make sure that you've got your barrel of naphtha and also pick up the rotten apple on the way. So take the rotten apple, this is where it is on the map, and then head into the mourner's HQ and talk to Esalt. Now go to see Elena.
So go into Elena's house and talk to her. So you can either run to the Norwest or you can use the Necklace of Passage to Outpost, run northeast. Enter the orchard and run over here to the apple press. So this is where it is on the map. Pick up a barrel. Use it on the pile of rotten apples. Use the barrel of rotten apples on the press. Now I'll use the barrel of naphtha with the barrel of apples. Use your sieve with it. Now head back to our doin. Now remember if you haven't got a barrel of naphtha Please look at my guide on how to get a barrel of naphtha. It goes into every detail that you possibly could need. And the link is in the description below. So head back to Mourner HQ and use the range. So Use the Topsic Naphtha with the range. So head to the church. Use one of the Toxic Powders with the Grain Sack. Now go to the general store to the southwest. And use the toxic powder with the grain sacks. Head back to Mourner's HQ. Go into the basement, head south, and now speak with Isolt. So now use your teleport crystal and go to Letya. Now we need to head to the east and we need to talk to Arian one and then we can finish the quest. Congratulations! You've finished Mornings in Part 1. You have been awarded 2 quest points, 25,000 hit point experience and 25,000 thieving experience. Congratulations! So I hope that you found this helpful and keep tuned for Morning's End Part 2, which hopefully I will film and upload shortly. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the notification button. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!